sounds good. <laughs> okay. Let's see, before viewing these uh, this tape, you must adhere to the legal to these legal guidelines. Oh, this is a cute way of doing it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, is that be played after? Okay, yeah. The files could be. There's a lot for some tapes, bro. Oh, may trigger autistic individuals or individuals with epilepsy. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah. Here to leave guys above. I decline. No, no, put I decline. It's gonna shut down. You know it's gonna shut down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's cute. Go support the official gamer GTFO. Oh. The audio design is nice. I didn't get to hear this back when I. I know. Oh, I... So I see it says run tape, resume tape, eject. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. This is, uh. There are voices I in this too. Opinions. I have my opinions on the menu, but I'll. I'll inform you later. Well, I, mean, I guess it looks basic, right? But it has they're trying to keep a, an aesthetic to it. Which... I think, I think uh, what we came to a conclusion to was that they were trying to go for aesthetic, but sh they should have gone all the way. Ah, uh, okay. They don't know how. They don't know how because they're so inexperienced. Another day, another successful afternoon with the club. I just finished cleaning up, and now I'm heading out of the door. So my bag feels lighter than usual. Oh, this is Monica. Weird. I rummaged through her really quickly. All right, well. <coughs> where's, 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 where's Gate voice? Come on. No, I know. I was like, all right, well, I guess if we do the voices and everything, let me <coughs> clear my throat. <laughs> I rummaged through it quickly. Oh, through it really quickly. Oh, I'm reading my planner. I see that my planner is on the desk where I left it where I left it last. I run over to grab it. Upon looking at it, there was a slip of paper protruding from the side. She knows her bag was that light that she forgot her planner. Either there was nothing in her bag, or she must have like that must be like a thick ass planner. Yeah. I don't remember putting it there. I don't remember putting that there. I take it out and look at the writing at the writing on it. Only two words. Get out. Oh, kill yourself. Close enough. It involves getting hey, out. Wow, a typical Discord DM. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, kill yourself. What? Kill yourself. By the way. <laughs> 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 no, but like, kill Y R O U self. <laughs> <laughs> who who would possibly give that to me oh let's list the names of people who'd want you gone monica <laughs> the list goes around the, the block at least half the community she surely can't be any of the others must be some troll oh my god <laughs> irl trolling couldn't be oh it's gonna date the hell out of this bod must be some trolling i guess I shrug, take my planner, and place it on my, in my bag neatly. I also shove the paper on the side of my bag for future reference. Well, time to go. As you do. I turn off the lights and head out the, and head out the door. Oh, it's very dramatic. Hello. Welcome to the Cyber Supernatural Moderator Introductory Training Exercises. Here you'll be given a brief course on a specific phenomenon that is occurring in digital spaces. I love the music. <laughs> yeah, the music is great. The music is great. You'll also be given uh, ways. Hmm. No, no, take it. Oh. All right. You'll also be given ways to identify, combat, and defend yourself against this phenomenon. All right. Okay. So basically. I take issue with how they're setting this up. First of all, the text being on the left and this image in the middle. It's it's a struggle, but yeah. So would you re recommend why they be placed in the middle? Uh, I would recommend like, hello, and then have the text, have the image disappear, 
text like open one by one right okay. like you're watching a tape you know oh okay okay i see what you're saying yeah as not many are willing to fight against it we at the cyber supernatural task force ctf commend your bravery can it be like cbt <laughs> no i feel i want to say ctf is a reference to the actual organiz like government body that regulates the internet or is it the ftc might be the ftc actually it's the, i think it's the ftc yeah now let's begin your official cyber supernatural moderator Introductory training exercises. Unforeseen threat. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Like, this really should be playing. Like, okay, yeah. What you what yeah. you said does make more sense, but I guess hindsight's twenty twenty. Right. Team Red Mods, if you're watching this, no, no shame to you guys. Just things to just things to consider. You're learning. Uh, we're always here to help. We are cons. We are currently receiving reports and threats of an unidentified hostile digital organism. We refer to this hostile digital organism as alternates. Until we have a complete understanding of this threat, it is important to take the following procedures both at work and at home. Oh, precautions. I said procedures. You can't read. We know. Stay off the public internet. <laughs> Using a VPN. Like NordVPN, today's sponsor. <laughs> I wish we were sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> Where no, do we do this when we get sponsors? Where do we do this when we get sponsors? I mean, if I get sponsored by VPN, yeah, definitely, because this is be one hell of a transition. <laughs> right? Just get VPN. Like NordVPN. <laughs> <laughs> Staying on incognito mode as much as possible. Ah, yes, because that actually works. <laughs> Remaining silent and minimizing noise. Keeping all means of suicide away from yourself as possible. Okay, yeah, this will work well as if instead of like each click is like a slide that goes through each of these, you know? Or not just that, or like how uh, uh, the previous one we played, right? The prayer one has it as subtitles. Yeah. Uh, that could have worked too. That too. Yeah, instead of, if you replaced um, the text at the bottom with the actual subtitles changing, yeah, that would have worked. That would have worked well too. We all know. Oh, we. Oh, you will know when an alternate exists based on its physical and emotional characteristics. If you see another person that looks exactly identical to you online, they are an alternate. Destroy your computer, hide, and consult higher authorities. <laughs> yep. Acts weird equals alternate. Acts normal equals real. But what is? normal and what is weird if one of your friends or family behaves drastically different online from who you know them as they are an alternate destroy a computer and hide if you see a person with a biologically or a digitally impossible characteristic online they are an alternate destroy a computer and hide if an alternate manages to break into your computer's code or software, refrain from any communication or contact with, with the threat. Alternates utilize elements of psychological warfare to take advantage of their victims, both online and in reality. This is... Can I... Oh, there you go. You can hide the... You see, imagine all of that, remove all the text, and use just like these kind of slides with very short sentences, and just try to communicate like that would have been a whole lot creepier. Not to mention with this very relaxed 90s elevator so, music. <laughs> it's great. The music is fucking great. I wonder who made it though. I wouldn't be surprised if Xavier did, but well, I guess we'll see in the credits. Uh, we are able to inflict psychological damage against an ind Oh, they are able to inflict psychological damage against an individual in real life, if not dealt with digitally. Alternates can cause symptoms such as nausea, loss of strength, depression, rational fear, Suicide by various means of death, and possibly more than, more that are undiscovered. It sounds like a suicide fucking. It sounds like a fucking um ad for like some sort of like drug, you know? Yeah, suicide by various artists. <laughs> oh, this is yeah. Execute them yourself. You. Can. I love it's just like the, I love the man. 
big the gun. gun. <laughs> the gun's like half of his body. <laughs> hey man, don't, don't discriminate against midgets. Fuck, bro. <laughs> While we discourage any means of communication or contact with an alternate, we make exceptions for attempts at combating them yourself. But, but okay, all right. I mean, it seems kind of uh, contradictory to what you said earlier. But hit it or hi dick. In the event, hi dick. I don't think they thought. I don't think they had thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hi dick. <laughs> In the event of an alternate encounter, remember. Hi, dick. Hinder its movements. Oh, see, they did it here! Yeah, see, it's good. But then why didn't you do that for everything else? Ident identify class type. Destroy your computer. Inform an authority. Kill yourself. Damn. <laughs> the ultra's already like, Fit, the ultra's already here! <laughs> Know your place in this world. We encourage you to know your enemy. Alternates come in at least three types. <laughs> Doppelganger. Detectable. The fuck? Ayo. <laughs> and... <laughs> In this exercise, use your human instinct and what you know about alternates to determine the real person and the alternate. All you need to do in this exercise is select a photo that looks more off or unusual to you. Failure to detect to effectively de yeah, effectively de um, determine the alternate will leave you susceptible to enemy attacks in the future. Failure to also take this seriously will leave you susceptible to enemy attacks in the future. Now, begin the exercise. Alright. Is it one or is it two? <laughs> uh, I, I think one is the ultimate. Yeah, I was going to say because it doesn't have any eyebrows. It doesn't have any eyebrows. The mask is a little bit more crunched up. Everything seems a little off with the one. Alright, so I'm going to say... Wait, I think we have to select who the alternate is, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. so it's one. Correct! Alright, cool. Two. Uh, two, yeah. Correct. Ooh. Dude, we're, we're, we're bosses, bro. Up oh, two. Yeah, I wanna say two. Correct. Okay. Good do. Ah! Ah! Yeah, okay. It's definitely what? two. Watch us say what it says incorrect. Watch it. Correct, okay. okay. <laughs> I'd say two. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've already been compromised. W wait, where's C? Where's C? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I think we've already been compromised. <laughs> Stupid program. You're stupid. Dumb bitch. <laughs> Dumb skank. Oh, that's not why. Yeah, that's not my screen. That's the. Okay, that's the. On, okay. Mm -hmm. I stare blankly on my laptop, which had just crashed. Signs of disappointment and exasperation follow my blinking. I wonder how many people that, that actually thought. <gasps> I wonder how many people that actually got scared by that. <laughs> that their computer crashed. Though, yeah. why would a VC8 tape crash? Don't know! It's computer program. It's like a floppy disk, I think. Oh, okay, that makes a little bit more sense. My laptop is a few years old, so crashing isn't exactly out of the ordinary. Is it? <laughs> Window life. However, pulling me away from something that, I rather, that I'm rather engaged in is... Well, it's a bit aggravating. What time is it anyway? Time for you to get a watch. Fucking hell, bro. Back in the fifth grade vibes. <laughs> <laughs> I check my phone to see if it is midway through the evening. Huh. 
I still have time in the day. I paused for a second before staring back at my laptop. Still, I think that's enough internet for today, said no one ever. <laughs> Might as well grab something to eat for dinner. I stay. I. <laughs> my mom walk. <laughs> I saw and stand up before stretching. Did you get much sleep last night? So right now I'm a bit drowsy. Half awake, I stumbled downstairs into my kitchen. Oh, I like that. Oh, this is interesting. Now, what to do? I opened my fridge to find at least an inkling of something edible. Unfortunately, nothing really sticks out. As a matter of fact, there is almost nothing there. Topical rain moment. Yes. <laughs> a clear indication of just how desperate of how desperately I need to make a trip to the store. That does not that does not sound like you're opening a fridge. <laughs> I open my fridge and instead um look inside my pantry. Uh, well, she. She's a baby there. Damn. <laughs> I gently open the door to moment. Cans. Lots and lots of cans, but Natsuki isn't here. Well, except for one thing of instant yakisoba. Eh, better than nothing. Where to get all this canned stuff? Where to get all this canned stuff anyway? I think for two seconds, let's be decide to just fix the noodles. What a, what a way, what a way of life I live. Okay, interesting sentence there. I bet if the health department came in right now, they would burn this place in to disinfect the town. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Perhaps I'm just being dramatic, but I really do need to take better care of myself. I ran to my kitchen to microwave my food. You never left the kitchen, bro. I have water and wait for my food to finish in the microwave, stealing four minutes of my life. Once done, I make my way back up, back up to my room. I'm still as sluggish as I was, uh, as I was when I got up from my seat minutes ago. My energy doesn't seem to increase at all. Who cares? I yawn and take the seat in front of my desk. The only thing making noise is the ticking of my clock and my wall and the humming of the air conditioner. Otherwise, everything was perfectly still. Perfectly tranquil. Nothing moved the muscle, so to speak. I could sit still and take in the peace and quiet if I didn't get bored so quickly. Well, oh. you're boring us, so... <laughs> I was sitting here like, what's the point of all this? It's to set the mood, but they need better pros for that. Despite my previous statement of being on the internet for, the, for enough time today, I opened my laptop yet again. I check my games library for anything that catches my eye. Oh, do tell. Time passes, stopping for nothing and nobody. Before I know it, it was almost 22.30. Though I'm sleep deprived, my eyes still cannot help not closing. Ooh, using double negatives in my- double negatives in my DLC mod? I tried taking some melatonin to help myself shut them. I thought you were trying to stay awake. Did I drink too much coffee, I think, to myself? But you said you were sleepy about <laughs> I'm not even a major insomniac. <laughs> My sleep schedule hasn't been this off. I continue to ponder random thoughts through a bathroom break. Wander oh, wandering through... Wandering throughout the upstairs hallway and playing my favorite game. What is even happening anymore? God, I don't want to go to school tomorrow. It's about time I at least try and get some sleep. Dreading the coming Monday, I turn off the lights in my laptop and crawl in 
into an otherwise unoccupied bed. Huh. Dear Diary, the weirdest thing just happened to me today. I met a gray cat on the sidewalk when I was walking home. Well, more accurately, it was gray with white stripes. His stripes were like a tiger's, and he was playful too. He would roll around and just purr and purr and purr. He had this funny meow. Never quite heard a cat like that before. After a while of playing with him, I felt... Oh, I left him alone, and he gently fell asleep on the sidewalk. It wasn't so bad today, though. It's just... I think I hear him outside right now. I think he followed me home. It's getting colder out. I'm gonna let him in. This is cool. I think it's the same, right? Maybe? Maybe. Maybe even that's... Maybe even that's okay. Ah! Ah! God! Ah! I'm jolted awake by the sound of a siren going off on my phone. Is it Amber Alert? I feel my heart beating out of my chest. My arms and legs lack strength. I was like, ah, fuck! I was like, ah! It's piped into my ear! An Amber Alert? What the hell? By how I usually sleep with my phone next to my face, the sound left my ears ringing. Yeah, thanks, bros. Fucking Team Red Moz the RX-7 stock ass looking ass bitches. <laughs> Give me hearing damage. The high-pitched jars combined with the ambience and the darkness of my room make a rather surreal envir environment. One minute passes and my heart rate is still racing. The rest of my body is in a cold sweat. The kind of sweat that never seems to dissipate. Wait, is it just me or is there something in the closet back there? Do you see it? Yeah, I think I do. It what? looks like someone's head sticking out of the closet. Ooh, that's creepy. Jesus. What time is it anyway? Find the crap and heaviness in my eyes. I hold my phone above my face to check the time. Fortunately, the brightness was almost at minimum. So my retinas were not seared. Oh, 21. Midnight, huh? I swiped to my notifications to see what the alert was about. Emergency alert. Local child abduction. Victim. Yuki Hayatoro. Age 2. Male. Blonde. Male. Blonde hair. Last seen. 614 Sakamaki Street. Suspect. Unknown. If you have any further information... Call 119. Oh no. That's near here. That's where. I stopped dead in the center of my sentence, almost as if it was instinctively. Everything around me felt as if time had stopped. Zalardo! Oh, it was there all along. <laughs> <laughs> Through. So the, there's going to be a hooded monster, the monster, but it was I. Kodo <laughs> <laughs> theater! Though my eyes were still heavy, I could not shut them again, no matter how hard I tried. I still feel lethargic, yet I feel restless. The duality of man. Is it adrenaline, or the shock of being startled awake? Honestly, I don't even know. The next thing I knew, I was sitting on the side of my bed, staring at the space. I really, really don't need this. Oh god. <laughs> I actually thought my headphones were vibrating from that. Another- yeah, Good sound design. Although given another heart attack from my, um, with my phone in my hand, it starts buzzing. Someone's calling me. I reluctantly looked down at the screen. Huh? Yuri? What could she possibly be calling me about, it th uh, about this late? I make an educated guess, trying to make sense of it. It's that kidnapping, isn't it? Actually, actually, player, I was calling you to tell you you've been accepted into university. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. That's a little inside joke that you guys won't understand for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, I pick I pick up and hold my phone to my still somewhat ringing ear. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. That's that interesting. <laughs> it was like, it's like, three, three, here. Hello? Hey, hey, Killen. So, uh, why are you calling me at this hour? Booty call? I, uh, wanted to come over. <laughs> You got the umbrella too, yeah? Yeah, why? I live on Sakamaki Street, as you both know. Okay, actually, wait one second. That's a huge sin in writing. If you ever say, as we both know, at the end of a sentence, wipe that sentence away from existence. That is terribly done next position. Uh, well, yeah, I guess you could have just said, at, we live on Sakamaki Street. And you're like, huh. Like that, like that. It's like, he already knows he lives on Sakamaki Street. She lives in Sakamaki Street, and the fact that he like, got the alert, I don't know. Like oh. You can easily tell it in a different way, right? But if you ever have to say, as we both know, then you're doing it for the audience, which means it's unnatural. Oh, yeah, it could have been different. I mean, I guess in that case, you say, like, I live on Sakamaki Street, and MC could have been like, oh, yeah, that's right. She does live on Sakamaki Street. Yeah, he could. you can easily make him unaware of it, or just find a different way to say it. That's true, too, yeah. Yeah. The, the kidnapping happened literally a few houses down, and oh wow, I, I, I could see that being scary. <laughs> She's like, I'm scared. Can you? Can I come over? Can you hold me? Also, why is Jerry wearing her school uniform at midnight? Maybe that's the image, the image he has of her, probably. I, I guess so, right? But then why does she look so upset? <laughs> Oh, he's, 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 she's smiling. Oh, she's not smiling. Oh, she's guess. not smiling. <laughs> I guess he snapped the picture when she was when she wasn't consenting. She's like, ah, fine. I'll let you take oh, a picture uh, of me. Also, that line of the kidnapping happened a few houses down was enough. He didn't have to say, "I live in Sakamaki Street too." But that line said enough. Actually, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Because that already, imp yeah, that implies that she lives there. Yeah. The more you know. I don't know what to do. I never had a kidnapping happen this close to my house. I mean, are, most people haven't, Yuri. A am I in danger to ask for some place I need to go? It's like, hey, 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 hey. Tranquilo. Calm down. I know how you feel. Do you? <laughs> Did someone kidnap someone a, a few houses down from you, mister? Well, they both live on the same street, so yeah, he, he kind of does. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Though he doesn't live, he doesn't live as close to Yuri. Yeah, I guess. I agree that this is a terrifying situation for you. You are far too ugly to be kidnapped, Yuri. <laughs> Damn. I don't really have a solution, but do you need anything from me, Yuri? I can help out. However, wink, wink. <laughs> well, um, Killen, I want you to. You see, th this is a weird request, but... Oh gosh, it's, 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 it's like, stop hey. acting like a thought and form a th and complete a thought. Damn. Wait, what? Autism stress assessment video? Record oh, your exactly. child's responses to the following media. Oh, man. That's very great. Huh. Section 1. Record your child's response. Gaga goo goo. Uh, record your child's response. Am I a child in this situation, Jay? I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I don't know who is the child in this situation. Be interested to get my sister to play through this, actually. I doubt it's actually real. I mean, I don't know. Just, I'm curious to see what would happen if you actually got somebody with autism to play this. <laughs> hey, sis, can you act like a guinea pig for this? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we have people walking, a drill, and then silence. Whose bedroom is this? Yuri's, I'm guessing. 
I can't believe I'm doing this. I was placed in Yuri's parents' bedroom. So MC went to her place, I think? I don't know, maybe. Having nothing to do, I sit and stare, thinking of how exactly I got into the situation. We've been doing a lot of sitting and staring. I Pretty much, right? <laughs> Oh, is there, is there no text? Oh, okay. I was like, is there, is there no text? Are we, are we just gonna sit here? Where's the bathroom here? Are we really gonna follow him as he pees? I hadn't realized how much my bladder was killing me. I'm prone to ask Yuri, but I'm unsure of whether she is asleep or not. In knowing Yuri, she might just open her mouth when he pissed there. So I don't want to initiate that conversation. She. <laughs> Part of you. I. Oh, yeah, Parmy wants to knock on her room's door, but at the same time, I don't want to disturb her. Speaking of... Speaking of, her room is... eerily silent. No rustling. No movement at all. Maybe because she could be sleeping? Nothing. The whole house is still. Was it a mistake to opt to keep watch? Is it even likely for a kidnapper to strike here? What would I even do in the event of an intruder? Shoot him. As I ponder these thoughts, I decide to just open the random door. Lo and behold, it's the bathroom. Oh, how serendipitous. But as soon as I inch the door shut, I hear what sounds like footsteps from outside. My body shivers briefly, almost enough to make me piss myself. I inhale okay. sh- <laughs> It's like, okay, that makes sense because his bladder is about to explode. Um, I inhale sharply, pause, and then exhale, the entire um, the entire breath being choppy and shaken. I guess Yuri's up. Thinking about it that way, I quickly use the restroom and return to my designated bedroom. Nothing is worth the risk. I, huh. I've been thinking about that too, because I was trying to look at I was trying to look at the the character portraits, and I was like, "Is there any signs of them being an alternate here?" We'll see. Let's keep going. Nothing is worth the risk. Nothing is worth the risk. Nothing is worth the risk. Nothing is worth the risk, and it just stuck there. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, it's the purple man. Purple guy from FNF. Uh, sorry, not Friday Night FNF. Yeah, FNF. Yeah. Hey. I hear a faint voice calling out to me. Hey, listen. It's a very feminine oh, no. voice. Ah, yes. Yes, these, this, <laughs> this is such a feminine oh, no. voice. It's Dash Suki. Unfortunately, he's not here. <laughs> yeah. Am I in heaven? Is it an angel? Her voice sounds so soft and lovely. I could stay here forever. It's like, Killin, wake up this instant! Gah! How the hell? I fall on my seat in the shrieking frenzy. Scrambling, I stand back up to- I stand back up, but on my feet. As opposed to standing up on your hands. Or on your head. Or on your other appendage. Wink, wink. <laughs> he woke up all bricked up. <laughs> <laughs> y- Yuri, what was that for? Sorry, you were j- j- just asleep and then. D- 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 I mean, we're 10 minutes into activities. <laughs> Wait, what? I rapidly blinked my eyes. I also realized I have crap in my eyes, so I give them a good rub. Okay, listen. Who wrote this? <laughs> L- Lolly, I believe, wrote this. Alright, continue. But I'm just thinking, like, okay, the, we were in the bedroom, and then we went into a random segment where it was like, nothing is worth the risk, and then we just wake up in the club room. I'm like, what? What happened? <laughs> It's, it's, it's throwing for a loop, but not in a good way. I feel like we're being gaslit 
by a mod. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Rose experience. I guess I guess you were that asleep when we all walked in. I blink once more for good measure. Aha. Uh -huh. You already in <laughs> Damn, Yuri, stop stuttering! You know us, bro! What the fuck? Stop. What was it? It's like, well, stop. How did I, I was like, think of stop being a thought and produce a thought. Damn. Or is it yeah, stop being a thought it. and finish a thought? <laughs> when the rest of us arrived, we so we didn't disturb you. Kind of bad logic, if you ask me. I see. Well, I guess I did fall asleep earlier. Given my experience last night, I wouldn't be surprised if my energy was wholly depleted. What experience is kind of left up to, to interpretation? Especially because of my prior sleep deprivation. It was actually my idea to keep you sleeping. Damn. Thanks? <laughs> I was like, thanks? I thought it'd be funny. Wow, thanks, Nat. Thank you. Big preach. What kind of humor compels you anyway, Natsuki? <laughs> I'm kinda say though. It was much funnier in my head. Kinda just sucked in action. Kinda like how you did it, Natsuki and Chill. Written by Huh? Uh, for this is just a personal thing between me and Kelly. You see what I mean when you get too caught up in banter and shit? <laughs> How 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 kind of bored you get? Yeah, I mean it builds character, right? It builds character. Do I care? Do I care here? No, I don't care honestly. Because I'm sitting here, I'm like, what? First, I'm sitting, I'm like, what the fuck is even going on right now? What's the point of all this? And the other part of me is I'm like, who the hell cares? See, you can build character through how they react to the interesting things in the narrative. Rather than just seeing them talk to each other. You're about to say I rather um Cause you're about to say something there. Uh. No, I said uh said uh, you know, you can rather like rather than like having them talk too much, you can see how they react to the interesting part about the narrative of this whole alternate bullshit, see how they react to all that information and that can build their character. Got it. Okay, got yeah. it. Oh, okay then. I'll be sure to repay you later, eventually. I noticed that Monica is in the back of the room reading something. I glanced over before being interrupted by Sayori in both speech and sight. Oh, Sayori. Uh huh. Am I sorry for a So, how are we gonna divide ourselves now that he's awake? Nice hand edit, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cause that's yeah, Monica, that's, yeah, that's Monica's that's hand. Monica's yeah. yeah, not bad, actually. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. I guess we could do a group of three? I raise an eyebrow. Wait, so what are we even doing today? The others just look at each other. That's not my fingers are from Sayori. Apparently unbeknownst to my presence. Oh, unbe yeah, unbeknownst to my presence. But shouldn't it be apparently unbeknownst of- oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I don't think they use unbeknownst, right? <laughs> I think they're trying to say unbeknownst like, of my presence, like she wasn't paying attention to him. I was like, but wait, I think he's talking about I snap my fingers unbeknownst of my presence of me knowing I snap my fingers, but I'm like- it, It's a complicated- Exactly, complicated. exactly, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, that, that doesn't make any sense to me. I feel like we're playtesting this, really. <laughs> I feel like this is like a live playtest. <laughs> Hey, Sayori. Hey, Sayori. What are we doing today? Oh, we were just gonna do an activity that Monica requested we do. <laughs> we're doing your okay, mom. Ma okay, Sayori's, a, Sayori's an alternate. They're doing this on purpose. They're doing this on purpose. Sayori's an alternate. That's uh, why she all these weird poses. They're trying to indicate that she's not herself. That's smart. Oh, yeah, because she is acting rather strangely, isn't she? Hmm. Yeah. We weren't sure how to break teams since you were asleep and all. Oh. I see. I look at the other two, 
who shrugged and took a few steps back and then back at Sayori, who isn't really doing anything. Oh. Okay, so yeah, Sayori is the alternate. So, how does the activity work? So, basically we split into two groups and write something that has flair from each person from, from each person. So it's like a blending of between two people's work. A hybrid writing, eh? I uh see. Interesting. Manga said it apparently is supposed to help us with cooperation, but uh I don't really know. I hope it'll be fun though. I noticed that Yuri and Natsuki left the short vicinity and are now talking to Monica. I'd understand if they'd simply got bored because of Sarah now, uh, because Sarah and I pretty much brushed them off. Well, either way, I might as well be active to make to make up for the ten or so minutes I lost. Not much time passes, and we find ourselves in our usual circle. Side note. Uh, side note, but everything has been so quiet lately. It's a rather weird change of pace. Maybe instead of having it as a side note, indicate that during the whatever. And you know, just have him just have him think it instead of just like putting it to side the side. Note. Maybe 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 it's going to you writing, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I love rain, but the weather today is really bringing down the mood. Yeah, I agree. Reminds me of... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Your rain clouds. Fuck off. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so Base so Natsuki. <laughs> this, shit, this shit is what gets me going. Natsuki, don't you think that was a bit insensitive? Insens insensitive these nuts, Monica. <laughs> Dude, if she says that, I'm going to have my heart. She can take it. <laughs> We all have our battles, you know. Just adding fuel to the fire isn't the best option. Natsuki immediately, immediately gets into her defensive position. <laughs> her defensive position. <laughs> I, I set my Natsuki card in defense mode. <laughs> <laughs> Too far? Yeah, fair. Sorry, I just didn't have the best day today. Also, that gives you carte blanche to be a complete cunt. No one asked. Thanks to Mika. <laughs> I Who? don't care. Who I cares? <laughs> <laughs> her last words sounded like they were muttered under her breath. I could just barely make out what she was saying. Good thing we have the power of reading on our side. Dude, oh my god. Just get to the point. I'm pretty sure Yuri did as well. Did she? I didn't see her face change. Did you need someone to listen to listen later, Natsuki? I'm all ears if Nah, I think I'll be good for today. Thanks for the offer though. Well, I'm here for you anytime. I don't care. <laughs> well you heard that? Yeah, of course I heard that. <laughs> I was I'm sorry we got under my breath. I didn't Oh Our group goes back to awkward silence, just listening to the pattering of the rain on the window and in the roof. This, this isn't setting a mood. This is the <laughs> shit out of me. <laughs> the atmosphere has not been the same lately, I'll admit. Eventually, Monica speaks up. Uh, okay, everyone. As we all know by now, this is boring as shit, but I thought of a nice little something we could do. <laughs> Sex? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay. If Sire, if we didn't know Sire was an alternate before, now we know Sire is an alternate. <laughs> Sex? Can, can we take a screenshot of this? <laughs> something we could do sex <laughs> i was like i was like nani nani o desu ka? <laughs> I, was like, I was like bro what the fuck um <clears throat> sex <laughs> no sorry sheesh wait how'd you know what actually let's just move wait what how'd you 
<laughs> what? Walker's like, wait, how'd you know what? How'd you know that's what I was thinking? Why <laughs> she let? Let's just move on. <laughs> okay, that got me. That woke me up from. <laughs> that woke me up from whatever was going on before. Yeah, that, that woke me up too. Natsuki is trying her damnedest to hold her laughter. Yuri is just vibing, I guess. <laughs> you know, I can tell by the way. You don't need to describe it. It's not important. <laughs> I mean, Yuri just looks more disappointed than anything. <laughs> Monica waits until she has everyone's undivided attention. Did Did you really have to say that? Okay, so that fiasco aside, we're doing a bit of team building. Ooh, team building. We're going to split up into two groups, and each group will write a poem with the styles of all the team members. So, uh, without further ado, why don't we pick our teams? I realize that we're all spaced out a bit compared to earlier somehow. Jay, kill me, please. Jay, kill me. Jay, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting here, I'm like, oh, this feels like such a slog to go through. I don't know. The pacing of this is all off. It's like when I played when I played your story, the pacing was so good, I felt so engaged. Now I'm just sitting here, I'm like, why? Why are you like this? Uh, it's, it's just the hook was so engaging, and it just everything fell really quickly. I'm just wondering when the stuff in the hook comes back into play. And if it doesn't, then I'm like, that's extremely disappointing. Uh, like, for you know what's crazy? Is that we've actually been playing this less than we played the other mod, but I feel like we've been playing this longer. Really? Yeah. Nonetheless, it's time to pick our- it's time for us to pick partners. Sari looks intently at me. Menacingly! Is she wanting to- Hey Killin, would you want to pair up? Well, she definitely jumped the gun on that one. Yeah, this is a Sayori. <laughs> She's always been eager to hang out with me, regardless of how- regardless of how, so I honestly don't see a problem. Uh, sure. Uh, actually, I kinda need to talk to Killin for a second, one on one. I know. Do you want to know about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Actually, do you want to know about our Lord and Savior, Allah? Allah. <laughs> <laughs> our Lord and Savior, Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. <laughs> I know <laughs> we're transitioning and timing, but it's serious. Sorry, it looks pissed. Sorry, could I maybe partner up with him j just this once? No, 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 it's not like I'm most fertile today or anything in my cycle. No, no, no. I no. was <laughs> like, no, it's not like I really want him inside of me, just want to be bent over these deaths right now. <laughs> Yuri seems intent on her request. Intent enough to make Sari scowl. I can tell. <laughs> yeah, he could have just said, intent on her request, much to Sari's chagrin. Boom. Move on. It seems like Natsuki isn't the only one having a bad day. Sari irritably takes a deep breath through her nose. You know, you could've just scrapped those last three lines and just left it Sari irritably takes a deep breath and you would've been the exact same thing. Ah. Uh, why not just be the group of three? I mean, we... We could, but... Again, I, I don't like you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of just wanted to be one on one. S sorry. Both girls pause. <laughs> All right, this is Yuri politely telling Sari to fuck off. She's really pissing on us right now. I guess. Maybe I j just needed to talk to him too. You ever thought of that, purple bitch? <laughs> I love it. Violet Harlot, Violet Harlot. <laughs> Sorry, runs off to where Natsuki and Monica were standing. Her face looking like she was about to cry. Of course, those two were concerned as usual. I want to at least go over there and try to comfort her. 
but I don't know exactly how to do it right now. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Some childhood friend I am. Can't even console a single girl for the life of me. I am so bad. It's about VHS tapes. This is about. This is about. Is this about VHS tapes? <laughs> yeah, definitely a bad day. Yuri looks at me shyly and a, a bit remorsefully. Was what his name Lauyet? Lauyet or something? Yeah, Lauyet. Lauyet, this is my personal message to you. You know, a friend, right? From friend to friend. I don't fucking care. <laughs> Please move on. <laughs> Yeah, can we get to the part about alternates and VHS tapes again? That was cool. Yeah, like, I'm sorry to say you're not the relapse guy. Your your character writing isn't that impressive. Damn. Oh god. <laughs> well, now I just feel bad. Did I go about this wrong? Oh god, I did, didn't I? I don't give a shit. After a while, I noticed that Sayori, along with everyone else who was in a tizzy, had settled down, and our two groups get to work. As for Yuri and me, her elegance mixed with my whatever it is. I wonder what kind of spectacle or abomination they will create together. Why did she want to talk to you? We didn't get to that part! No, God forbid, that would be relevant. <laughs> Yuri looks at the paper, seemingly lost in thought. The words that were al that we already have on paper aren't seeming to stick. Seems like each thing we both put down is having trouble meshing with each other. Honest, honestly, not expected. Not unexpected. Um. Is this like about a relationship? Good question. <laughs> Wish I had an answer. Okay, you could just sit silence. Oh my god. Come on, I'm gonna kill something. Man. I'm gonna kill something. I swear. Oh my god. Dude. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my days, bro. See, these things aren't problems, right? Like on their own. Right? Yeah. They're small little details. But they're starting to build up right now on each other. And it's getting on my nerves. Uh, after playing, after playing the other mod to come into this, I just see like, wow, there's a. <laughs> like, I can see the the level of. I don't want to say quality because that's just mean. I could just I could see the the differences of experience. I guess. Yeah. The different the the experience levels. I can see the difference between them. There you go. She wanted to talk to me about something serious, huh? That seems forced. Is it about what happened last night? Where did you get that conclusion? She didn't say anything. The only time she said that was forever ago, and she didn't even bring it up again. She's the one who said she wanted to talk to you. Should she be the one bringing it up? If I slept right now, I woke up, and I guarantee you it'd still be in the scene. <laughs> 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 the kidnapping, the small scare, me staying at her house. There. Wait, was there. that you actually happened. <laughs> He's saying it happened, but know. according to the others, it didn't happen. So I'm saying you're like, unless there's a big time skip, which in which case, like, All right, it's right. jarring. Maybe, maybe they're setting up a mystery. Let's, let's keep going. The amount of sleep I lost on top of what I'm already missing. What if he's the alternate all along? I'm gonna cry. I decide to break the silence. Hey, so... Yuri... You said you needed something? Is it about, you know... Last night? Y yeah actually... I have several okay. questions about it all. It was all surreal. I mean... Okay. I was terrified to kill him. <laughs> Why did the kidnapping even happen in the first place? And to a toddler, no less. <laughs> Finally, relevance. I can put less on edge. Yeah, about as good a start as any. 
Yuri's expression looks as if she's trying to convince herself that it wasn't real. But I that's can tell. I can see it, motherfucker. <laughs> but that's not the way it feels. Her slight chuckling tries to mask her uneasiness, but she already expressed her fear outright. Though, I guess that confirms it. Can you believe did you need that line? <laughs> it wasn't some fever dream after all. The whole situation felt off. I can tell. Not to mention the noises and the feeling of something crawling on my back the entire time. I'm not one to have sleep paralysis, but I have a question, Yuri. What was the point of that line? Where, was he, where are you going with this? We'll see, we'll see. No. Okay, no question mark, just okay. Okay, so did you leave your room at all throughout the entire duration of the night? See, I had to use the restroom and I heard the sound of footsteps. I didn't, well, still don't know if it was you or not. I was in my room the whole night, sleeping. Yuri looks down and writes a line on the paper. She gets halfway through, oh, she gets halfway through a second line before abruptly pausing, looking up at me, distraught. Do you think someone broke into my house? Who, who, who could have... I don't know. All I do know is what I heard. Though it doesn't make it much sense that I heard footsteps just once. Why would someone break and enter just to immediately leave? Yuri looks over at the window. The downpour persists, calling both our minds and bodies. None of it adds up. Uh, do, you, do you want to stop here? <laughs> do you want to keep going? Let's keep going. Because we, we have to actually get somewhere, Jay. Okay, alright. After taking my time in the bathroom, I step out into the hallway cautiously. Despite the noise, everything was still put. Could have just said everything was still. Um, things were where they were before, and yet again, I was the only thing in motion. I feel like they're trying to go for something there, but okay. I left my phone in the room with everything else I brought to get me through the night. My uniform, toiletries, and my school bag didn't need, didn't, don't care. There's also not a clock in sight, so I can't tell the time from here. Again, don't care. I'm the only person on earth right now. I don't know how much longer my eyes can stay open. Reluctantly and silently, I open the door back to my designated room. 5.02 Hello? Is anyone here? I brought some food for us to share. Please, come out. I have food! This is, this is giving me, yeah, I have candy in my van, kids. Vibes. Are you asleep? Need me to wake you up? Hello? Do you want something else? I can bake stuff if you want. Probably won't be as good, but it's made with love. Please? I'll come back tomorrow, okay? Who is this? I just want to be your friend. Bye. I don't know who the hell this is. I'm just sitting here like, what the fuck is going on right now? That's cool. Oh my god. Oh no, we're back here. <laughs> no, we're back here. <laughs> You're like, oh, fuck, now we're back here. Yuri writes the last line on the paper. Before I knew it, we were finished with our poem. And yet, we glossed over it during our conversation. If you think about it, that's rather good sync. We could talk more about this tomorrow, okay? Y yeah, sure. You also have my number, so you could text me too. Right. All things considered, our poem isn't very long at all. Don't care. We all soon reconvene with each other and share. Don't care. 
The feedback is mostly positive on both ends, though I feel the least vocal. Don't care. Definitely not the first time that it has happened, but I just want to go back to bed already. Okay. Is that is that all just to tell us that he's sleepy or something? Without any distractions, baby? Without anything keeping me up. He could've just said, God, I'm tired. Actually, it would've been cool if he just said, God, I'm tired, and just went to this. Section 2? Oh my days, bro. Oh, God. <laughs> is, this, is this like, oh, is this like Act 2? Is this like Act 2? Like I don't know. <laughs> Section 2. Oh, this is section two of the autism test assessment, I guess. Record your child's response. Oh, Sirey's bow. That's nice. Record your child's response. Get oh, that's the cat. Yeah, the so great. The yeah. Another day, another nothing. Yeah, see that's cool and all as long as you make us not feel like it's nothing. Alright. You're okay, alright. Uh, I didn't really accomplish much, being half asleep and all. I feel like this is like trying to combine sunset and another after story, but and infinite choices. I, I, it feels like the it feels like the what it feels like what all those three mods were trying to go for, but it feels like it's missing something. I don't know. Uh, we can talk about it after this. Uh, the rain stopped outside, so other than my phone, I had nothing to fall asleep to. I look up at the clock. Twenty one thirty six. Okay. If it was any other day, I'd be up half the night playing games or watching anime. Cool story, bro. <laughs> However, my schedule is roughly a whole night's worth behind. <sighs> the very least, tomorrow is Friday. Today's Friday. Yeah, today, well, yeah, for us today <laughs> is Friday. <laughs> Perhaps I could use tomorrow night to catch up on all the sleep I've missed. And I could use the afternoon to talk to Sari about her problems. Punch you in the face. She didn't walk home with me today. She just said her farewell and left the room without a second word. God forbid. What could possibly be up with that? Oh god, could, could you have possibly shown this up? Shown this to us? Uh, you know, make all those classroom scenes actually mean something? I will kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm overthinking, but I've never been able to deal with changing patterns that well. God, I'm too sensitive. I shake my head ba I shake my head and put my thoughts on the mental back burner for now. Now's not the time. Putting my earbuds in, I turn off the lights, lay down, and turn on a VOD. Cool. And please stop at my house later. I wanna see you. God! Oh, this is these are his dreams. Sayori's so talking to him in his dreams or something. Maybe. Well, they did say Altus can message you psychologically in the real world and stuff, right? Right, right, right. That could make sense if she's like, I want to be your friend. Um, I'll bake something for you. It'll be filled with love, but it won't be as good. I'm like, okay, so we know that's not Natsuki. Yeah. Maybe it is Sayori, especially since she's not that good in the kitchen. Yeah. I'm gonna be really disappointed if we came up with all this theory crafting for something that doesn't exist. No, no, I, no I'm pretty sure it exists. Okay. This is definitely on purpose. I am abruptly woken up. For the second time in a row, yet for a different reason. This time, it was a voice. A raspy, creepy voice. Yo. The head's not in the doorway this time. Yeah. But not the voice of a burglar or a kidnapper or anything remotely human. Just that. The voice sounds similar, I guess. It was that of a small girl. But with my grogginess, I'm unable to really understand this familiarity. 
What I do know, however, is that my throat feels incredibly dry. If I don't do something about it soon, it will especially bother me when I'm trying to go back to bed. But is outside the door even safe? What the hell do I do? I lay down and think for a moment. Is there water in my room? Are there any bottles that aren't empty yet? Looking around is futile. No lights are on, and I refuse to take that risk, should the intruder still be here. There are no windows in my room, so jumping out is out of the question. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Jump out the window, get your suit all messed up, and get it handy. <laughs> all I need is something to drink. And yet... What is this fear I'm feeling? What is this despair? I feel a cold sweat yet again. My dry throat sin um, singes in pain with my rapid breathing. This uncomfortableness is, is agonizing. Why am I so terrified of the unknown? I, I dial Yuri's number, hoping and begging for her to answer. One ring, two rings, three, four, five, no answer. I dial again, five rings, no answer. I despairingly dial one last time, five rings, are they golden? No answer. Shy. At this point, I'm eternally screaming. I could open the door, but why do I hesitate? I could feel my vision fading. I lay back down on my bed out of lightheadedness. My throat was burning, my limbs numb, and my head scrambled. Just one more. Ugh. I don't even want to go to school. I feel like shit. I can hear the faint beeping of my alarm, but I lack the strength to even turn it off. All I do is let it play until it decides to stop. What feels like a thousand years later, it ceases its bickering. Ah, phone alarms. How I love you so. Sooner or later, my eyelids open. God, this mod's putting me to sleep. While my vision is still blurred, I'm awake, at the very least. I still at least manage to turn the lights, to turn on the lights. Is there a broom in the closet? I've never noticed that before. My throat is still dry, as expected. However, while I still have strength in my arms and legs, my entire body is cold. Not the type of cold from sweat, but rather like, rather like chilling when sick or anxious. God. What even is the time? 9-12. On top of seeing the time, there is also text messages from Sayori. Three of them. One a little over an hour ago, one 30 minutes ago, and one 13 minutes ago. Well, seems I overslept. Wow, way to put two and two together. I checked the first message. Hey, where are you? I've been waiting for 10 minutes. Are you in bed? She was up and ready before I was. Talk about a first time in both of our lives. Nevertheless, I checked the second message. Well, I'm guessing you're taking a sick day. Call me when you wake up. Given my physical state at the moment, I wouldn't say I'm the most fit to go to school today. I checked the third message. Today's an early dismissal anyway. The first floor caught on fire and now everyone's up in arms. Two people are dead. Wow. That's, uh... That's something. And fit, where did you go? You're missing out all of the action. No, I'm here. I'm here. I'm just. I've been talking too much, and I want the mud to breathe. You know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, as long as you're still here, I was like, oh, two people are died. That's interesting. 
No. Aha. God. Wait, I, I, what? If you, come back in, if you come back in the club room, I'm going to kill people, by the way. <laughs> uh, come on. Let's see. Oh, we're calling Sayori this time. Hello? Sari, are you okay? Yeah, why? No, I'm Sayori. <laughs> are you okay? No. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> See, what the hell do you mean? The first floor is on fire. When do you think I mean killing? <laughs> it's exactly what I said. It's on fire. And, and, and what? I saw someone jump into the fire. <laughs> Damn, maybe you should join him. Damn. Excuse me? Who in the right mind would do that? I wish it was you. Damn. I I don't know. I'm on my way home as we speak, by the way. Good to know. Thanks for telling me. Wait, how long ago did the building first catch on fire? A few minutes before I sent you a text. Even though I knew you were still in bed. Shut well, at the very least, I'm glad you're safe, Sayori. Mm-hmm. But what does that mean for us students? Beats me. Maybe we'll just go on remote for who knows how long. Fighting social commentary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Do you know the people who were killed? Uh, Yuri and Monica. Wallace? Yo! <laughs> it's <a> Wallace! <laughs> what was. Norio Hagakure, and the other one I heard was Wallace Toa. <laughs> no shit! Yeah, no shit. Wow, that's a rarity. Huh? You swearing? Uh, oh. Sorry, I'm just. Really? Under pressure! Press it down on me! Press it down on you! No man that's for. <laughs> right now. I mean, school fire and all. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Well, listen. I have to check in with the other three, so I'll talk to you when you get home, okay? N yeah, sure thing. Alright, see you soon. Bye. Oh. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, it's Monica. Hello, Kellen. Monica. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Well, where are you today? I'm at home. More importantly, are you okay? No, I'm Monica. Yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> I guess you already heard the news. About the school catching on fire? Yeah, the school catch a fire. I heard it from Sayori. Yeah, I figured as much. Oh, did you? Bing. Bing what? Don't flip out on me for saying this, Kellen, but... I don't think the fire was caused accidentally. Are you saying sorry should start the fire? <laughs> what? How can you say for sure? Call it a hunch for the most part. Then again, I could be wrong. Well, I'm at least glad that you and the others made it up safely. Right. About that. I don't. So okay. I don't like that you're stuttering. She didn't stutter. Sorry. She hesitated. Did someone? No, none of the club members were killed. Yeah. But Yuri does have a pretty severe burn on her right arm. Maybe you'll cover up all the cuts. Actually, calling it severe would be an understatement. Oh, is she gonna like lose her arm or something? Well, what do you mean by almost her entire arm is charred? Given Sounds her, tasty. given her other wounds there as well, I'd imagine it's painful. Her 
blood curling screams are. They're just stuff of nightmares. Jesus. Okay. Is that okay? I didn't ask. That's a, no, 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 not that. That's a just that's a tone shift. Yeah, I'm like, huh, this is wow. Uh is she okay? Other than that? Yeah. We were able to get her out of a classroom in time. Dude, you just mixed her blood curling screams. What do you mean is she okay other than that? That's like saying, oh, is she okay other than the fact that she's like brutally in pain? <laughs> the brutally in pain part is why she's not okay. Yeah, don't you love when people ask you that? You're like, you're just in sheer pain. You're just crying. You're like, are you okay, bro? I'm like, do I sound like I'm yeah, fucking no. okay? Is, it, is she okay other than the fact that you got stabbed? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> this fucking guy. I was like, um, right now she's passed out, but Naski and I are on our way with her to the hospital. Huh. This is so bad. Hey, Natsuki, what? It's like, yeah, gotta say, we really could have used your tart strength right about now. Oh. An oh. autism test, you're gonna start, okay. Oh. That's... Okay. That's not rude. That's not okay. That's not okay. So I guess we're saying that the MC has autism? I don't know. But also, call me someone a tard, really? I guess if anyone would do it, maybe it's Natsuki because of just how blunt she is. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe it's just they're all pretty much freaking the hell out. It sure doesn't feel that way. It's like, Monica, give me the phone! <laughs> Natsuki, please calm down, okay? Calm your non-existent titties. No, and no, Monica, you freak out more. What the <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Natsuki she has the correct reaction. You are off. Maybe she is freaking out, but she's trying to be the calm in the middle of the raging storm. Yeah, it's just, it's just like she was like, "Hey, see how are you doing? I heard the fire. Like, yeah, you're okay." Because that's the fact that like Yuri is like bl like blatantly mean, but we'll be fine. It's like, That's how she's talking. It's so fucking disarming. It's like, how's everyone doing? Well, Yuri suffered severe burns on her arms. Like, well, actually, no, severe would be calling him an understatement now that I think about it in retrospect. He's like, wait, what do you mean? He's like, well, no, yeah, her no, arm was pretty, no. her arm was very charred, you know what I'm saying? She released these, like, really blood curling screams that were, like, super terrifying, and now right away to the hospital. No, the, the catch with the vibe just tries like, so how are you guys doing? So, oh, well, you know, uh, Natsuki's, like, off getting, like, her cupcakes, you know, Natsuki. Uh, Yuri is, like, uh, screaming because of the char charred arms. And I got an A on my test, so. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wait. <laughs> That's how she sounds like. He's like, wait. Can you say that last thing about me getting A on the test? No, the one before that. Oh, I'm asking you going to get her cupcakes and stuff? No, 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 the, the thing after that. It's like, being an A on my test? No, you're getting your fucking arm chart off. It's like, oh, that. <laughs> she's okay. Besides the fact that she's dying. I love the fact that she's screaming in agony. She passed out for the pain and we're taking her to the hospital. But, you know, we take the good with the bad. <laughs> Win some, lose some. <laughs> I know the situation is dire, but still. Nasty, please! Okay, um, Kellen, we'll, we'll call you back, okay? Uh, uh, uh alright, uh, uh, Minutes pass by, like, hours. It's just like... Never mind. Seconds like minutes. Middle seconds like seconds. Oh, okay, sound design. Ooh. I sit silently and solemnly at my kitchen table. I sit there, trying to process what exactly has occurred. Yo, wouldn't it be some shit if Sayori started the fire to kill them off, and that's why she left, because the, the fire separated them from the exit? Most likely, that's exactly what's happening. Dude, that'd be... Dude. I sit that, there... That would be... Dude, that would be interesting. Holy shit. Scary. I sit there, trying to process what exactly just happened, just occurred. Not to mention the weird, unsettling events unfolding. The voice, the kidnapper mentally terrorizing Yuri. 
Was this all just one big nightmare? Oh, okay. The psychological torture coming into play. Yes. Let's <laughs> go. Nothing really seems to make sense. Even then, I have so many unanswered questions. Why did the school catch on fire? What next? What's going to be my course of action now? I'm, I'm starting to see a little bit of a formula. Thing happens, MC lists out all the questions that the audience is asking to, you know, to show that these are the right questions to be asking, and then uh, other thing happens. Or he goes to sleep. Right. <laughs> That's like, that's like the formula. Who is the person on the other side of my door? All of it. Huh? It's rather emotionally taxing. Call it a fragile mind state, but that's just how I am. No complex backstory here. I mean, there's no fragile mind state to be had, dude. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on here. Just some guy whose school burned to cinders. It burned to cinders? Just some guy being haunted by something or someone. Some guy who's become a schizophrenic. Okay, that's exaggerating it. See, you had us and now you've lost us. Poor school though. Poor Wallace. Even though he's always been annoying. Poor Norio. All the same, I'm aware enough to know that something is very, very wrong. No duh! Well, more or less a gut feeling. It's also... I can't put my finger on it, but my body trembles at the thought of it all. I look at my phone next to me and see what Sayori is trying- uh, See what Sayori is trying to call me. Oh, thank god, it's normalcy. Answer only to hear her panting, as if she was out of breath. Hello? <sighs> Hello? Just saying that, that I am home. <sighs> Let me catch my breath. Her panting was causing the phone to disconnect. Or was it just the cell service? I could just barely hear her out. Hold on. Why are you exhausted anyway? Did something happen? You could, could s say that. Just had, had to do some r running is all. Running? Were you trying to get back home as soon as possible? Are you okay? Do I need to help you with something? Do I need to help you with anything? N no. I have an itch in my, in my hoo ha 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 that only you can scratch. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. About to get our me and you grind on. <laughs> grind is a good way to say it. <laughs> she's a, oh, but she says she does want to see us. Ooh. Please. Chills ran down my spine. I'm glad she's safe at all, but I don't know. Maybe I'm still f just feeling lethargic. Uh, sure. What time? Sari's breathing gets mildly better, but her panty continues. Right... Right... Now... I'm serious. Huh. How about it? You're... Acting a bit needy today. You know that? Oh, that's just women in general, bro. Oh, sexist killing <laughs> <laughs> But you... Did just witness something traumatic, so yeah, I could spare a bit of time. I could fit you into my busy schedule of staring and sitting. <laughs> then again, who am I to deny my best friend? Her tone shifts into something more gleeful. Really? I'll be waiting then. Okay, Yuri, with the stuttering. All right, see you in a few. B Bye. <laughs> Okay, this is okay. This is starting to feel weird, bro. <laughs> no, we no obviously series series an alternate, right? This is right. Kind of yeah, that's kind of where this is going. But and with God, that, I wanted to get she hung up on me. Well, she's supposed to be coming to over to our house soon, right? Something's supposed to happen, and before we get to section three of the autism assessment, 
This is like this is like the mod is holding me hostage because I know something interesting is going to happen, but nothing interesting is happening. Yeah. This I'll, I'll, well, I'll tell you about this later. But this reminds me of something. I take my phone from my ear and look at the corner. Four bars. What the hell? I have butterflies in my stomach. Pair with an overwhelming dread. That's what butterflies in your stomach are. It represent the dread. <laughs> you didn't have to spell it out for us. It's quite hard to swallow. That's what she said. <laughs> it feels like I'm choking. But it just feels right to comfort her. I rapidly put on some socks and shoes and begin making my way to her front door. I thought she was coming over to our place. Huh. Each of my steps feel like there were a hundred pound weights attached to my feet. Okay, Goku. My throat is still constricted. At this point, though, I only continue forward, for better or worse. I gently open the gate to her front yard and make my way in. Step by step. Standing face to face with her front door, I knock. Watch it say section 3. Or, ooh, wait. Wait, that's it? That's it? That's it? There has to be more than that, right? I hope so, because if it's not, I'm going to riot. <laughs> I'm going to flip. Tables. <laughs> Xavier, 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 are we missing something? You're here. We hope you enjoyed the no. ball. Wait, how long is he here? <laughs> Dude. Wait. This tape okay. seems to have some importance. Okay. I should rewind it and take it with me. So we have to rewind it, I guess. Can we rewind it? Now my question is, do we have to play this again? Xavier, Xavier, can you guide us if there's something more to this? Oh, let me He's open. Here. He's here in spirit. That's the end. That's it? That's the- that's it? I'm about to riot! I'm about to flip tables! I'm about to scream! Oh, I'm about to scream! <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, okay. Scream. I have many words. Do you have many words, Jay? I'm about to scream. It's an hour and a half of my life. I'm never gonna get back for payoff. We don't get. I'm so upset. <laughs> so I'm furious. <laughs> god damn it. Like, I remember what I just said. I said right before this. I was like, it's like nothing interesting is happening, but we know something interesting is gonna happen. And right when that something interesting was gonna happen, the mod ended. Remember I told you remember I told you it's like imagine if we have imagine if we don't get the payoff that was building up to all of this. There's obviously there's an alternate and MC is being led into it and he's gonna die, right? I mean it'd be that'd be cool to see. Yeah, the question, I think it, it begets the same question that we've been asking ourselves this entire time, which is why should I fucking care? <laughs> <laughs> like, this is all cool and all, really good ideas, right? some nice execution too, but you have failed to make me see why any of this matters. It's like... There was there was so much going for this right, but it just it fell flat. I think it it meandered. It it, it went on paths that didn't matter, and it, it like the club room scene that, could have been much shorter, or at least written differently that, to to make why it is that know, feel better. Being abrasive matter in this mod. I know it's your character, but why does it matter? 
what uh, does it to, add? What is to, happening? To maybe fake you out to think maybe she's an alternate? I doubt it, because she has no other symptoms. Right, and we don't really get to see much of her. Yeah, and... And anyway, fake you out that maybe she's the alternate, but why do we care who the alternate is? Because nothing happens. Right? I guess I guess it's just like, ooh, it's freaky when Sayori but by the end you'll know it's Sayori, right? Because of everything how it's being built up. Well, yeah, mystery, but <sighs> I'm just sitting here I'm like, oh god. I Like the the parts that were cool were really cool. Uh, the sound the sound design was awesome. The music yeah. was awesome. The aesthetic was really cool. You uh, know, it, though it could be executed better, but it is good. The horror elements, some of the horror elements that were they were cool. Like seeing the little head in the background in the MC's closet, mm -hmm. that was really it was cool. Legitimately chilling. It was legitimately chilling. Yeah, but but I think they, you put your best foot forward too quickly because the rest of the mods did not have any of that the school burning down does not the school burnt down okay Yuri's arms are charred okay but uh, would have been cool to see that what well, or I don't know well it's see okay it's somewhere? okay if we didn't see that if we got the payoff of actually seeing Sayori being creepy yeah. you know if we got to see Sayori oh, being creepy and MC was, was able to put two and two together and then we like what happens to the real Sayori um, I think but, MC might actually be legitimately the weakest part of this. He's the reason that none of this is working, right? It's because he's so, like, bland, his thoughts are uninteresting, and he's, he's, he's an audience surrogate in the worst way, because he, all he does is just ask questions that we're already asking, thinking. Yeah. but never gives any insight, right? Yeah. Never makes anything interesting really happen. And what was the point of the autism assessments? Was that just to tell us that the MC has autism to set up that one tarred joke that Natsuki, that Natsuki sets up? What was the point of that? Know. Looking I back at it now, like, that doesn't make any sense to me. I, it's trying to be... Okay. Alright, alright. This is, this is just more of my bullshit theme talks. But, like, you should, like, they have a good idea here. The whole idea of alternates and... And like you pointed out, that it says weird, not good, normal, good, but right. That could easily be misinterpreted in a hundred different ways. Right. But because the mod is focused on, on putting on this horror element, that it just doesn't really achieve. None of the themes that it, the whole idea of alternates brings up is really explored. And I, I felt like there should have been more. There has to have been more to this. We're missing something, right? Because. I'm aware, they, they're aware that this idea, that these are ideas are on the table, hence the autism awareness test, right? That there's no other way, it's, there's no other reason for it to be there, but besides hinting onto the fact that there's something twisted about the logic there, right? But I don't know what's happening. And... Now see, it would be something if we had to like go through the files, or if we had to play it yeah. again a second time, or there like oh, credits or something. something. Like I, I, I want to believe that this is that there is more to this than there is. Xavier, for the love of everything good and holy, tell us if there's something else that we're missing here. Give us something to work with. You can type it in the voice chat for all I care. I don't care. You really want me to spoil the mystery? Uh, or guide us through it. Guide us through it so we can play through this. Experience it. Okay, okay. The secret... The secret is... He left. Ha 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 ha. He's so funny. Oh. Alright, let's check the files. Do I check the files? See if there's something there? I... I don't even know what... I don't even know where to start. Okay, oh, I'm doing There's nothing. There's nothing? Nope, that's it. You're fucking kidding. Xavier, it can't be. This can't be it. Nope, that's it. Okay, guys, this was a great episode of Jake Killing. <laughs> uh, uh, you know how people say, don't send death threats? Yeah, don't send death threats. But I wanted to make a joke about sending death threats, but don't send death threats. 
But, uh, yeah. Uh, Jay, I'm gonna, like, hit my head at the wall for, like, ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> if you enjoyed um, SVHS tape 0505 2022. Please tell me how. Please tell me what to do. And actually, actually, no, no, this is personal. This is personal. I've seen Lahowitz or whatever his name is, other mods, the answer, and it's from a lot of the same bullshit. So, Lahowitz. I don't know, man. Read through what's wrong with your mods. It's it's actually like chronic. You have interesting premises and then just lose yourself in bullshit. I'm actually furious. <laughs> I'm actually mad. Alright, well uh leave a like if you enjoyed question mark. <laughs> I don't <Sorry>. know. <laughs> Subscribe. I don't know. Subscribe to Jay Killen for more insightful playthroughs. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Bye. Bye.